Fort Lincoln and the North Dakota Veterans Cemetery are some very well-known spots in our state. That's right, and for that reason, some big discussions are happening concerning the viewpoints around the area. New this morning, Aaron Fields joins us. He has more on a zoning plan that the county is proposing. Aaron, what can you tell us? Yes, good morning, Tim and Alicia. This whole zoning proposal started in the early 2000s. Morton County Commissioners passed a resolution to prove a building ban within sight distance of Fort Lincoln State Park until a historical zone would be proposed. However, the ban was amended in 2002. This past summer, the Planning and Zoning Commission reintroduced a similar amendment, which not too many residents are thrilled about. Back in the late 1990s, early 2000, the county Institute a instituted a moratorium to protect the view shed of Fort Lincoln State Park. Not they wanted to make win. sure that the area of the park uh, was basically the way it was historically. Since moratoriums can't continue, the county's Planning and Zoning Commission has added the North Dakota Veteran Cemetery to the newly proposed amendment, making a view shed from everything westward of the district to the boundary of State Highway 1806, meaning you couldn't put up a building that would be seen by a six-foot person who's standing at the park's bunkhouse or the Fort McKean Infantry Post area. It basically comes down to property rights versus the public interest. Is there a great, great enough public interest in both the park and the veteran cemetery to protect the view shed, which then will encroach into private property rights? Or is private property rights more important than the public interest in the view shed? And that's the question that is stirring up some controversy, whether blocking the views of the land overpowers landowner rights. Fort Lincoln State Park is more than just Custer history. Lewis and Clark was through here. Honest Land Indian Village is here, so there's good Native American history also associated with this area. I think our common interest with the commission is to protect the viewshed of the area because of the natural beauty and recognizing the veterans that lie and rest in the cemetery, as well as the historical and cultural relevance of Fort Lincoln and its positive impacts on tourism. But, you know, I also believe with this uh, must come a broader perspective um, that includes the commission recognizing how these restrictions um, can can and will impact the area owners and, and us being taxpayers and our ability to develop or improve our properties. Bond, like many of the residents I spoke with, have very similar opinions and just want the county to understand both sides. So I think compensation needs to be on the table and, and discussed uh, vigorously. Um, and, and in a meaningful way, you know. Uh, and then the other piece is, is, I think, a broader conversation about what the supplying as well over to the fort and the cemetery uh, and being responsible for protecting the area, uh, homeowners, landowners, uh, and their view shed as well. So I, I feel that this is kind of a little bit one directional, and we need to open the conversation and look at this more holistically. A public hearing will be held at 5.30 p.m. today at the Morton County Courthouse. And this whole decision will ultimately be up to the state to see if it is going to be considered as a public interest. Um, but for more information about the zoning, you can head to our KX page, kxnet.com. But I did reach out to the Fort Lincoln and the North Dakota Veteran Cemeteries, but they did not want to make a comment. Sure. But I live in Mandan. Even though this doesn't affect me, I, I don't know why I said that. But, you know, like, I see both sides of the issue. Like, if I want to build something as a landowner, like, sure. to increase yeah. the value of it, like, I, I would want to have that option. But at the same time, this is a very historical place, mm -hmm. and you yeah. don't want to block anything. Well, so. hopefully they have a good turnout tonight. And, see the uh, tension in this issue. That. It's yeah. interesting. Yeah. Right. Sure. Thanks, Aaron.